Welcome to Connect. This is the new MetaQuest 3S. High quality mixed reality for $299. Um, Quest 3 is the best mixed reality device that you can buy today, and, and I am really proud of it. Quest 3S has the same defining features as Quest 3, high resolution, color, mixed reality, powered by the same processor, vivid pass-through, hand tracking, feels natural, touch plus controllers for precision, you get the full range of experiences from Horizon OS, gaming, social, fitness, watching videos, productivity, and more. All of the things that I just mentioned, mixed reality, hand tracking software, is actually better in Quest 3S at 299 today than it was in Quest 3 when we launched it a year ago. The bottom line here is that Quest 3 is the best family of mixed reality devices out there, period. So whether you're looking to get started with the base Quest 3S or if you want the top of the line Quest 3 with 512 gigabytes and 4K displays, which is now just 499, the Quest 3 family, it's not just the best value, it is the best product available. All right, now, Let's check out how good this pass-through really is. Um, we got my friend Kenny back again, wearing the 3S. Everything you're gonna see up here is streamed from his headset live. This is what he is seeing. All right, now the first thing that you can see is that we have expanded <laughs> the quality, uh, the, 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 the volume of content massively. Yes, yeah, so you can now run everything from 2D mobile apps to remote desktop for PC, uh, to fully immersive experiences all on one device. You can open screens, you can put them anywhere around you, you can have pretty much as many of them running as you want. Um, all right, so for the best watching experience, you can take any of the screens, you can blow it up into a cinema, that cinema screen that fills the whole space. It's great for watching Netflix, you got Amazon Prime Video, YouTube, uh, the new Twitch app, you can bring it anywhere you go. It's great for Xbox Cloud Gaming too, you get access to all these different titles, wherever you are. Um, and with spatial audio on Quest, you know, wherever you place the apps, uh, that is where the sound is gonna come from. Um, Dolby Atmos is coming to Quest, so now you're gonna be able to watch movies in full surround, it is pretty neat. And we have also rebuilt all of our social apps for Mixed Reality 2. We've got all new Instagram and Facebook experiences to bring your feeds and your reels uh, with you into Mixed Reality, a really nice interface, uh, so you can lean back, enjoy your content on nice big screens. Uh, we've been working with Microsoft uh, to upgrade remote desktop soon. So now you're, soon you're gonna be able to easily connect to any Windows 11 PC you just look at the keyboard and, um, and, you, and it'll start pairing. So if you wanna work on a giant virtual display or a bunch of virtual displays, or you know, if you wanna work on your projects without distractions or with other people, you know, this is, Quest is gonna be able to be a natural extension of your PC. Um, and you'll also be able to show up in more places with your avatars, including um, this YouTube co-watching, which is rolling out in beta next week, thanks to our friends at Google. We are also working to bring photorealistic avatars into the metaverse. We've been talking about that a bunch, but today I actually wanna show you something completely new. We're also bringing photorealistic spaces to the metaverse. And we call this Hyperscape. And the way this works is you can use your phone to scan a room and then recreate it, or you can step into a room that someone else has scanned and shared. Um, so this one is Daniel Arsham's um, studio space. Uh, let's, let's look at another one. We've got, I think this is, um, this one is the studio, I think, where Green Day recorded Dookie. And we can deliver this experience on standalone headsets, Quest 3 and Quest 3S. Now, of course, there's gaming. Um, so, we got some really good ones coming, showing off what the Quest 3 family can do. Uh, Batman Arkham Shadow up here, um, exclusively on the Quest 3 family. It's gonna be included in any purchase of a Quest 3 or 3S. The best mixed reality experience now with Quest 3S starting at 299.
Pre-order is open today and it's shipping on October 15th. Yeah. Let's talk about AI. All right, so there is a lot of exciting stuff going on in AI. And we've got a lot of updates to talk about today. Um, AI agents, creative tools, Llama, how this all intersects with our work on glasses and building future computing platforms. And today, we are making Meta AI even smarter uh, with our new open source Llama 3.2 models. So now Meta AI can natively understand images as well as text. We are adding natural voice interactions to Meta AI. Um, and you don't have to wait a while. We are rolling this out today and over, over the next few days. All right, one more creative tool that I want to highlight is we are experimenting with automatic video dubbing on reels, uh, starting with English and Spanish. Uh, All right, now, speaking of AI and glasses, um, we are seeing the emergence of a new AI-centric device category. People, uh, people love their Ray-Ban Meta glasses. All right, so how are you going to interact with the glasses? Well, there's a few ways that this is gonna work. They're gonna do voice and AI. They're gonna do hand tracking and eye tracking, so you can select UI elements by looking at them. But there's one more way that you're gonna be able to interact with them that is really pretty neat. A neural interface. This is such an exciting time to be building. And I just wanna close by saying that I'm grateful for all of you who are building with us. Thank you for being on this journey with us, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day at Connect. Thank you.